What I came to see was that the power of our, what I call self story, which includes our emotional patterns and it includes our thought patterns, that they can be so instantiated, so deeply uh, rooted that one can really develop freedom in movement that does not directly influence those levels of ourself. Mm -hmm. Now, I also find, and this is the, the wonderful news, is unlike, okay, let me, let me say it like this. One of the unique gifts of Feldenkrais, I mean, yoga can be great, Tai Chi can be wonderful, Qigong, these are, there are beautiful body-based traditions in the world. We're not the only one. But something unique, in my opinion, in the Feldenkrais way, is the way neural patterns can be deconstructed in a way that they, they are, they, they're not, we don't get rid of them, but in my image, their power gets reduced, at least temporarily, often it comes back, but gets reduced so that there's an opening in the system. The system, maybe for a long time, but at least for a short time, has it, it, its, its infrastructure of self-identity has been loosened. Mm -hmm. And in that gap, we are, our potential for learning is huge. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, we don't make enough use of that gap. And in my work, by adding the meditation, adding the work with our feeling life, learning to bring awareness to how we carry our feelings, learning what happens when we communicate in certain ways, we're using the gap that has opened from the movement lessons to bring that information into the nervous system.